Hello everyone, welcome to Gossip Railworks. My name is James and today we'll be working on bottom port again. Today we'll be adding the front panelling to the layout just to make it all neat and tidy and also to cover up all this newsprint which uh, we don't really want to see because it's uh, not actually part of the railway and uh, we'll also be doing it the same on the inside of the operating well and also add some protective uh, wood just to make it sort of stop breaking things when I lean over. And uh, yeah, that's the main goal for today. And uh, also I'll get all this stuck on the uh, main bit of wood on the outside here. But anyway, uh, I'll be using some various types of wood. I've got some of this, uh, I think it's about three or four mil plywood, which I had to spare from some other modeling thing which I was doing. I've got a couple of these panels. They'll be going on the inside here and various panels just to help protect it uh the uh well the lights and things like that so i'll stop knocking them about since this is going to be the thickest well one of the thickest woods which i'll be using that's where i figured that'd be i've also got some of this uh i think that's one or two mil uh, mdf got a fair amount of that uh, that's over there and that'll be going on the sides of the operating well, uh, that side, uh, that side, and also the uh, rear there. Uh, since it's quite thin, I can cut it into shape a bit better. Uh, I will be using my new Dremel, which is uh, a battery-powered one. And I've got the cutting disc for that. So, yeah, I'll be shaping that in a bit more uh, pleasing shapes and somewhat matching the scenery. And the front panel here, I've got this big spare bit of wood from when we had the... I'm going to turn that light off, don't see over there now. But um, yeah, I've got this big spare bit of plywood from when we had the bathroom done quite a while ago. I uh, had it stored in the cupboard for this very moment. And uh, this is a, that's a fairly bit, thick bit, so I'll be cutting that as well. But yeah, that'll be going across the entire length here in one big, pit, one, one big piece. And that should look rather nice, especially after I painted it black to match the uh, front panel of uh, Minstow Road over there. And uh, yeah, that's the only one I'm painting because uh, it's very nasty paint. It's uh, good stuff, you know, hard, no hard wearing, but uh, it absolutely smells and I uh, can't stand being anywhere near it. So I'm only doing the front panel in black. So yes, and then I'll be cutting off the bottom bit and probably making it a bit safer so I don't knock my head on it. And then I'll be attaching the signs, uh, both the signs and also adding the bottom port sign on the front. And that's the plan for this week. Because um, <laughs> it'll take me a couple of days to do it. In fact, I'm recording this on a day off, just so I can then crack on with it tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. Uh, just thinking, should I get the thick bit done first, or the thin bits done first? Uh, oh well, I'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah, the main thing that I'll be doing is I'll be using this Dremel tool, because it saves me getting the uh, hacksaw out, so I'll be using that to trim down things. I may also paint the inside of the uh, of these panels here just to give a bit of scenery. I'm not entirely sure. So that will go across there in a couple of panels and hopefully make it so I stop knocking these lights because I've already damaged one of them. <laughs> but uh, that one's got a dodgy light on one side. But I uh, have got uh, some replacements, but I will replace them when I've stop knocking them about so uh, yes <laughs> yeah I intend to glue them and also screw them in and uh, yeah hopefully it will look nice and uh, hopefully presentable so yeah that's the plan and I'll stop rambling on and get to work so I'll see you when I'm all done so see you in a bit
Right, here we are with all the inside protective boards all in place. And uh, yeah, it's looking quite nice. Uh, I did record the uh, this one because I forgot to and uh, to be honest it wasn't really that, that much interesting. All I did was paint it and uh, then screw it in place. Uh, I did have to make it into a few sections because uh, yeah, they weren't quite long enough, but I do intend to put mm, maybe some sort of uh, back scene on just maybe on this bit here, just to make it a bit more interesting. And I do intend to probably fill these up somehow. Uh, but yeah, it's painted lo lovely, nice of blue, but unfortunately, it's a bit brighter than uh, the back scene ones, so uh, yeah, it doesn't quite match, but either way. It still looks nice and it does protect the layout a bit because I'm going to have a bit more trouble knocking that and knocking these. Maybe that one I'll probably still end up knocking but this one, one that's already damaged so I'll need to change that so that'll be better. Uh, the inside boards, these are mostly just screwed in place. Uh, that one I have cut down a bit more because uh, it was a bit high uh, when I originally fitted it but now it's a bit more bit more uh, following the scenery and actually look you can actually see the scenery now I do realize there is a gap again uh, in fact there's a gap on all of them where I do need to fill them in but that can be done another day because I really can't be bothered anymore um, <laughs> but yeah that will be sorted at some point it'll be done off camera because I've done enough recording of me filling in gaps. But that's looking rather nice and I've got the uh, plug uh, plugs for the uh, controller exposed so they're all nice and fitted and plus this gives a bit more stability to the actual layout as well because uh, I did use to have a uh, support plate there but now, uh, now that's uh, replaced with the boards. Uh, this one I need to remove and then uh, sand down the what one of the uh, base not baseboards uh, one of the uh, boards underneath here just to make it a bit more flush then I can get rid of that gap but that will be done in time but anyway now onto the well onto the main main one for the layout which is the front board and that's looking rather nice. Uh, I didn't record, well, I was planning to record me cutting it along but that took a lot longer than I planned and uh, the batteries kept dying really so I just gave up on it. Now I did use the Dremel originally, uh, I used it to cut down uh, the length here and also cut out a little bit here just so that uh, this backboard can fit in properly. Uh, but yeah I got to about, uh, I think it was about here, uh, then the Dremel kept dying and then I decided to just get my coping saw and then just cut it manually all across, which is a lot more faster. And I was quite pleased that I did that instead of uh, continuing on with the Dremel. But it did leave it a rather jaggy edge, so I did use the Dremel when it charged up again to, excuse me, to um, basically just sand it all down and make it. It's not perfectly smooth, but it's a lot more nicer, and it's not going to knock my head when I accidentally bumped my head and <laughs> uh, maybe a bit over here but uh, that needs to be a bit longer because uh, this sign. Uh, the only thing which I haven't done but but I can do enough of time is I haven't painted on this side. Uh, I'm probably, uh, probably will paint that at some point but I'll just leave it at the uh, top uh, inch or so something like that but for now, I'm just having, I'm just happy as it is really. So, uh, yeah, there's still a bit more of a gap down there. Let me just, only a little bit. So, maybe a small head will work, but I'll do that after I paint the inside. But yeah, it's looking rather nice and I'm quite pleased with it. And I've got my... Uh, layout name now actually on the layout instead of just being pinned to it so looking much more like a proper layout now but yeah I'm not going to paint the insides
because eh, it's the operating wheel and I don't really mind. It looks neater this way. I said the only thing I may do is just cut down these a bit more and fill in the gaps and that's pretty much it really. But yeah, I'm very happy with it. But uh yeah, that was the that's the main thing really. But um yes. Do let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Either way, it's done and it's too late to change my mind now. So um yeah, do let me know what you think in the comments. If you like it, if we feel free well if you do like the video, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And if you didn't like the video, well, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a rest now because uh, I'm tired from doing all this and also having work. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm very happy with how it's turned out. Anyway, I'll see you all again next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.